oh yeah, I, I get, um, how, how do I feel as a Christian uh, experiencing the physical sensation of masturbation sans the lustful thoughts, right? Okay, um, yeah, because that's just it. I, I talk to guys all the time who say, you know what, I, um, I masturbate to um, images of my wife. Okay, so they're trying to, you know, pull that in there. And, uh, or you'll have men who say, you know what, I, 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 love, I like to masturbate or I masturbate, but I don't have any lustful thoughts. Well, as a Christian, I can't say, well, the Bible has a command there in this book and that verse that, you know, don't masturbate. Okay, so the Bible doesn't really address the issue directly, but what it does address very directly for all followers of Christ, uh, if you look at the New Testament, even the Old Testament, is it addresses you know, the mind and... Uh, that's the lustful thought piece of it. I've met very few people, and I have thousands of surveys on this, this topic where there's clean mind masturbation. You know, the whole idea that there's no impetus or starter, I would say, is a fractional percentage of people. You know, usually there's an object uh, to it. But then, uh, with respect to the behavior itself, you know, the Bible really clearly teaches that when your body has more authority over your mind, that that to you is sin. You know, that, that word, it's kind of missing the mark. It's unhealthy. And so as a practicing Christian, I would go, well, if I could somehow not have lustful thoughts while I was masturbating and just enjoy the pure pleasure of it, I would still have to wrestle with, as a Christian, this whole idea of self-control, the flesh, uh, the body ha having more authority, you know, in my life, being a slave to my passions, bondage. See, you know, and that's if um, you know that's why I founded a sexual addiction treatment center, actually, to get Christians kind of dialoguing and discussing this back in the '90s. That eventually became the Every Man's Battle Workshop. You know, is that there were Christians that were wrestling with these very questions and trying to engage the topic through the filter of their faith. And so, as a Christian, you'd have to address some of those other issues you know, that are connected to your spiritual journey with Christ, teachings of the New Testament, and the practice of masturbation, which wouldn't address it directly, but it certainly would address the body, passions, appetite, bondage, relational, spiritual health.